So many people ask, is there a chemical or a genetic basis to human love? And I certainly believe there is. Um, and the reason I believe so is from the work that we've done in Prairie Vols on pair bonding, which I, I'm not going to say that pair bonding is love, um, but the behavior, behavioral outcome is very similar. Um, it involves the reward circuitry, as I said, in prairie voles. And if you people have done brain imaging in humans, thinking about their loved ones, and you have very similar circuits activated. Um, so in many cases, studies in animals have shown that processes that occur in animals also occur in humans using parallel systems. For example, cocaine acts the same in a rat as it does in a human. So I really believe that, that the, the mechanisms that we're tapping into in voles, um, many of those may also be responsible for those feelings that we have when we're with a loved one. The elation, uh, the excitement, that's going to be, dopamine is going to be involved there. And we know that dopamine is released in the brain during interactions like that. And so uh, I'm very confident that emotions such as love are really the byproduct of chemical reactions that happen on, in our brain where certain neurotransmitter molecules activating receptors in certain brain circuits that activate an emotional feeling. And one of those emotional feelings that we know is to be very human is love. Love happens between um, partners, but also between uh, parents and their offspring, offspring and parents, and I think that there's uh, surely a biological mechanism to that.